Why you ain't had no new boo yet? Who's the other nigga? I feel like we get we gonna give it another try. Who the hell agree on that? What's up y'all? It's your girl Xavier and I'm back at y'all with another video. And today we have a special guest. Yeah, I'm always a special guest, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why you keep saying special guest like this ain't my page too? This not your page. They they know who page this is. Not no more. Yeah, y'all already know follow me at pick on me blocks on my page. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yes, it was that fun because you, <laughs> you guys don't know. start. Huh? Anyway, y'all, uh, we back at y'all with another Q and A because a lot of people got questions. I asked my YouTube community. Um, Let me see if this is real this time. Send me some questions. It is real. Uh, from the last time. I asked my YouTube community to send me some questions. And y'all sent me a lot of questions. And I put on there, I said, send me new questions. You know what I'm saying? Not the same questions. So I was like, Q&A for me and Blocks, new questions, please. And we got 54 questions. I haven't seen them yet. He haven't seen them yet. 54? You gonna do all 54? We ain't gonna do all 54, but I'm gonna go through them and we're gonna go as right. long as we can. You feel me? Y'all ready? I'm ready. The rest. Just ask the question. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe before you get deep to the video. And for the people who send questions, thank you for sending questions. Thank you for always supporting me. And yeah, let's get right into this video. Don't mad my muscle shirt. Yeah. First one, somebody said not a question. I just want to tell y'all that I love how much both of y'all have grown. Both of us? Yeah, bro. <laughs> y'all be calling for you. <laughs> Relationships are hard. Give each other some grace. Y'all got this? I believe it, y'all. Appreciate you. That was so sweet. Hello. You know the vibes. <laughs> somebody said, what's the hardest part about doing YouTube videos together while being separated? Uh, I think she got the problem. Do you got the problem? I know you always say I have the because problem. You only want Let me tell y'all, I only want to work with you sometimes just because that's what the point of kind of separation. We got to, everything should be separated, I feel like. Yeah. Now, we still do content, but I still feel like certain content, you get what I'm saying? Because we're separated. Not all the content you be trying to do. No, not. You I mean, I do get, I've been dropping good content if y'all been following me, but it's just be ideas. You be trying to do other content. Nah, what you be doing that other content. <laughs> you be ready. I'll, so you just gonna blame me. But overall though, we still know how to do that part because that's what we started doing, like working with each other. So that that part became just natural. Now. Yeah, it's natural. Yeah, like, like it's easy to cause I always tell people like we still was friends once upon a time. Mm -hmm. So it's like easy to be around each other and do stuff together because you know. Uh How are the kids doing with the separation and has he expressed she wanted y'all to live with each other again? Z really don't care. That's why I be saying Z is just like, I be trying to tell people Z is just like, she one of those. Yeah, like, she, she, <laughs> if we ask her right now, she gonna probably give us the answer y'all probably gonna say like like a dog answer. Yeah, but she do wanna uh, want us to live together again. She did say that recently, but it's just it's like it still haven't affected her. You know? Yeah. What you laughing for? Huh? What you laughing for? Cause I got my own crib and I was I know you wanna live with me and stuff. Boy, stop right? pressing the issue. I never said that. I said what your child said. I ain't say I wanted to do anything. So do you? Is that is that in the question? Oh, uh, Okay. All well, right. <laughs> What is the biggest obstacle y'all are facing that is preventing y'all from reuniting? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, uh, I mean... What is the big obstacle that is... Uh, it's all about you gotta make sure that like, we know why we separated... It's still her. Yeah, like, at the end of the day, I like, um... Uh, the blame game. I'm, I'm, I'm personally <laughs> mad up there. <laughs> <laughs> She needs to get it together. Oh. Come down below. <laughs> let her know. You serious? Yeah. Okay, well, let me seriously say my answer. Um, I feel like when you, when two people know why they separated, I feel like it got to be a change. You know what I'm saying? You can't come back, you can't reunite in the same toxic space you was in. 
it got to be a change. And for example, if I feel like he hasn't changed, I want to reunite. If he feel like I want to change, why would he come back? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I feel like it's all about a change. Yeah, as long as you change thing. something, cause like yeah, um, I don't know if DG changes deal, but it's just, it's just um. I, I, I'm not gonna be sitting right here taking all the blame. I right, go. Cool. Uh, Right now, uh, being an adult who, who, space and who ain't leaving the hell, leave you the hell alone. You leave me alone, but you always in my space for real. You always still around. No, no, I ain't. Yeah, you around here. Hey, you think I'm a ghost? I ain't always <laughs> around, goddamn. <laughs> think I'm casual and shit. Like, no, I never say that. I just say you always around. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all long term family goals? Like, what? You see yourself and the kids doing it for ten years. Who is um, Boba? Yeah. Uh, I, I see me with my little um, my little, little Spanish thing. Say what? Um, on the beach. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thank you. What? Um, but yeah, I see us holding hands. Who? She trying to hit on me. I'm ducking. Who trying to? Walk down the park. I yeah, grown now. Got a slap him in the head a couple times because he, he be all in. Anyway, I don't know why he got all these jokes, but to answer your question, <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question, long-term family goals for me is if we do decide to reunite, I still want a, a, a better bond for the family. Um, yeah. Better, like, you know, just the whole family thing, doing stuff as a family and uh, becoming a stronger family and doing stuff as a family. Yeah, family. Yeah. <laughs> and like in 10 years, she said like in 10 years, well, I always say like I want to buy a house and stuff like for my kids to leave my kids and just live life, be keep making money. I and don't know where we, do you know where you want to live at? Making sure the kids is good. Do you know where you want to live at at the moment to make like own house? I'll stay in Atlanta. I ain't nowhere else that I had decided that I would move to buy a house. I think I would buy my house in Atlanta. Mm. Because it's like nowhere else that I see myself right now. And they uh, actually got nice houses. Yeah, right. they do. Oh, somebody said, Blocks, are you close to your dad the way you are with your kids? Oh, uh, no. My mom, I fuck with my pops, though, for sure. Love him. But, like... That was a good question. Like, I'm, I'm way closer to my kids than mine. Yeah. And that's because I'm around a little more. Like, my life is based on social media. I ain't working. You know what I'm saying? You're able to be around. Yeah, I'm able to be around. So, like, a lot of people dead just don't be around because they got to work or they got a personal life. So, sometimes that shit plays the role, especially if you ain't with the mama. So, yeah, it's just all about that. I think the work keeping us together, though, for sure, that's keeping us close like, overall. Yeah, then I said, Xavier, <coughs> are you building a stronger bond with your mom and mother in law? Uh huh. Fuck them. No, I'm just <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, well, uh, like building a bond with uh, my mom, it's, it's stuff that I need to work on. And like building a bond with his mom. We've been talking and stuff. She's been calling and talking to the kids. And we everybody been cordial. That's what I can say. I can say everybody not on 100% good terms, but everybody is cordial. And that's been going good so far. So that's decent. What's one place y'all want to take a family trip to? My bed. Oh, my bed. I want to go to Murder Beach. I want to take the kids to Murder Beach because they got the safari thing. Murder Beach? Murder Myrtle Beach. Yeah, glad. Yeah. <laughs> um, Murder Mur Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Murder. Yeah, you know what they got. You got to say murder. What say is, it. No. You said murder. Myrtle Beach. That's how Myrtle. You there you go. Murder. <laughs> Murder anyway, Beach. you know, Murder Beach got the safari things for the kids, and I really, really want my kids to experience that. But that's one of the places I want to take a family trip to. Damn, one of the places? What about you? Turks. I want to go to Turks. You want to go to Turks with your family or just you? Um, With my mom. Okay. Yeah, Turks and Caicos. And, and it's a couple hours away. I thought it was um, a long flight. I swear to God, I thought it was like by Thailand and shit, oh, all man. that. Yeah. I thought it was around that whole time. That shit around the corner at the Mexican gas station. That shit right there. <laughs> you get Turks that. Turks ain't that far. It's just like how Jamaica is. Yeah, you, two, a, three hours. Two or three hours, yeah. But Turks, that'll be a good trip. Yeah, you know, we should um go tomorrow. Tomorrow?
No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a, do y'all want to get another house together if you decide to rekindle your marriage? Of course, we ain't living, anybody that I'm with, we ain't living separated. Why? We cannot be together. If I need my own space. I need to know, you better get a man cave. I need to know where you at, what you doing at all times. Are you watching me? I'm not watching you. That's stalking. I'm stalking. Why? Because that's what I need to do. Well, <laughs> I'm keeping my own grill. You go, and we rekindle, I ain't gonna lie, he can have a man cave. But you not have no, uh, your whole own house? Comment down below, what the hell should I do, guys? I only want guys to ask, because the women gonna be like, Yeah, you need to go in here and get the man cave. <laughs> nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> the man cave will be like having your own. Or you don't want me coming downstairs. I don't even want you knocking at my door. <laughs> She gonna find a way. She gonna knock on the floor like, dang. Oh, that's a good question. If you restarted your life from scratch mm. with the knowledge you have today, mm. what would you do differently? Mm. Would you end up in the same place you are now? Hell no. Uh-uh. Hell no. With the knowledge I have now, if I could take it back a couple years, oh baby, I'd be a, I'd be a problem. Bro, if I could go back a couple years, I'm still in everybody's home. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say everybody's so song. Go I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to 2012. I'm gonna say Finito. Then I'm gonna kick out my um my season. Then I'm gonna be Travis Scott. Oh. Then I'm gonna hit him with a drink. So if you go back and tell you gonna steal all the people's songs. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like you Hell yeah. They're gonna say this as music creator. I'm in that bitch singing the exact same words. You gonna have pop songs, rap songs? I mean, I need my beat like this. They're gonna say, how do you think of a beat like this? Cause you stole it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like a goddess for the future. Are you planning on renewing your vows? Um, no. No, we haven't planned anything yet. We haven't planned anything. Cause I'm not even, um, for sure. <clears throat> what was the hardest struggle you have gone through as a family outside of relationships? The, uh, the hardest struggle you have gone through as a family? Uh, um, when we try to run away, I feel like, yeah. When we try to run away? Yeah. <laughs> that was the hardest. Yeah, we did have to sleep in the shelter. We should do a story time on that. I ain't gonna get out to a detail. Should we do a story time on where we slept in the shelter and I was crying? Oh, what are you hitting on me for? You the reason we got there. No, I wasn't the reason. You didn't know you should have knew. Y'all gotta say that. Down below. Say down that. Below. If y'all want the shelter story time, comment down below hashtag shelter. Cause that would be a good story time because y'all don't understand what we went through. Yeah, I like to tell the story. That shit was funny though. That was crazy. Revolve oh, involved. Y'all, we have to tell y'all that story. We're doing that story time. That's gonna be my next video. I'm not capping. Do y'all think y'all will end the separation and want to give it another try eventually? Or do you think co-parenting and just being friends, work partners is the best for the relationship right now? I feel like that is because I'm tired of your ass on keep. I can always go to my career, man, my business, give me How you tired of me and I And then I'll see you again and be happy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Huh? How you tired of me and you don't even see me like that? Like, hey. How you be hearing me? Because you keep calling me, goddamn. <laughs> I keep calling you because I've been needing to know stuff. Yeah, hey, you need to know. You know I be always asking questions. <laughs> Yeah, man, but separation been good though. Overall, Dang, I that. I've been loving it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, they didn't ask that. I ain't got to deal with this shit every day, so like that's up. I, I feel like hard. we give, we gonna give it another try. Who the hell agreed on that? Y'all think it will end? They said do y'all. They, yeah. they said do you. Who make the decisions in the relationship? The guy need to. What did what did we learn? No, nah, I ain't gonna learn. I ain't gonna learn shit. I ain't gonna learn. You gotta, I did learn something. Like, I learned something. Y'all don't even answer the questions. Y'all I answer the questions. I don't mind. No, you can both say, I'm enjoying the separation. I can't answer that. They asked that. <laughs> they said that. It, it said on that. Somebody said, just glad to see you guys working together. Hey, cha cha cha. Who do you turn to the most for relationship advice? Damn. You know, the only person that really gonna listen to you for real but is who, God. But who? That you pray and talk to that man, it's only you and him having this conversation. You he'll he'll tell you the best way to do it. It's the annoy the motherfucker. But, it, but that's what you turn to, like when you need. Nah. Like, um. 
I turn to the guy, we get drunk, we be like, yeah, man. So what do you think I should do? They say, fuck her. <laughs> yeah, fuck her. Who said that? Which one? Huh? Which one? Nah, see, that was, I was just, that, that's something I always vision that the guys say. He played his man. They get, they get deep into your feelings, you need to get your girl back. Darnell, who do you turn to for relationship advice? Are you Nobody okay? Know. Are you sick? <laughs> Nobody know. <laughs> Yeah, man. So you don't talk to people about your relationship? Nah, not really. I turn, I go to like my sisters. Well, I was fucking up. <laughs> so if I got like <laughs> advice or if I be like, y'all, am I wrong? I really uh, talk to my sisters or I have older friends who marry. If I have a really like serious question about like marriage and stuff, I'll ask them for advice. Cause they get really good advice. Cause they marry. Cause they married and they've been in their marriage uh, five plus years, so. So you don't like turn to your husband friends? Um, no. Yeah, that's why you need help. Um, help him. Only got really, <laughs> really one. Only got really one. Baby, can you help me? The help worst him? advice you get advice from is a single person. The single person gonna say, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. These are good questions. They are. Yeah, shout out to y'all that dropped me questions. They are. But I'm going to ask really that first. That. Uh, what have y'all learned about family and each other in the past year? I would say me personally, what I learned about family is it's important. You need your family. Family is important. And what I learned about him in the past year was one thing I, I always say now to myself is like, you got to let a person be their true self. And it's like, is you, you going to accept this person or not? So, Mainly what I learned about Darnell is, am I going to accept him for who he is? You know, not try to change him and not try to, you know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, because then now that's something kind of controlling. Like you, no, that's, like, now I'm controlling. Like, come like, your ass down. Like, damn. We, you, you, we can't never win. It sounds like you control him. I'm not controlling you. He's like, yeah, I understand I can't control him, but. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I, I'm accepting. Yeah. Who you for who you are instead of who I want you to be, and deciding if I want to keep stay or leave. Stay or leave. And I think you want to stay because um. That they asked that they said now what you learn. <laughs> uh, okay, no. Nah, what I learned is, who any girl outside of your relationship is not even the same. Like they ass is weird. Females is weird these days, and I rather be with my weirdo. Then be what all these other weirdos. I'm not weird. Uh, you got you got your ways. Every female got their own way, but they got the same attitude. So the green, the grass ain't green. At all, no what? You thought it was when I left you? No, nah, I thought it was um, I was like in peace, and I had that. You ain't had no damn peace. I did. I love my peace. How much peace you had? When I got my own crib, I had peace. Why so I appreciate why y'all trying to give me this, that give me the spin night at your house? Huh? Why y'all trying to give me this spin night at your yeah. house? <laughs> no, yeah. No, you ain't even spending night no more than. Anyway, they didn't ask that. You said what you learned about other people, not me. I said. I said it already. I said something meaningful. I said. I, I said it already. All you have, all I got from from it was I'm weird. I um I just learned like people is not like people you grew up with around. Yeah. And they didn't ask that. They said, "What did you learn about each other in the past year?" Oh yeah, you um. He ain't learned nothing, y'all. You look. Um, he ain't learned nothing. Moving on. I just no, said no, that. wait, wait, wait. You, 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 <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> you just not learning that. That much. <laughs> <laughs> Darnell, this is not funny. Why you laughing? Um, if you and Blocks had to choose a place to move outside the USA, what would it be? Hmm, that's a good one. That's a wow. good one. I, I heard it's free Medicare up in Egypt. Egypt? Yeah. You sure it's Egypt? Yeah, I think like Egypt, the whole of the whole Ooh, outside the USA. So if I smack a bitch, you need to go to the hospital. She can go right to the uh, he got food free. I don't like you in this interview. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I kind of like, I don't know, do, 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 is you a more of a modern person or are you I'm more like I'm trying to a, see, like, I am a modern person, but you know, a, a lot of cool. stuff outside 
at the USA is not like it's, modern yeah, it's, it's stuff. legendary. Yeah. Like, so it's like, is you able to? Oh, outside the USA. I'm scared to go to Mexico. You can't really kick it. Would you live in Africa? You gotta be. They say South Africa is a good place to live, but yeah. um, I don't. I just don't know a lot of history about Africa to be moving there. Thailand. I know. About, I know more about Jamaica. Yeah. And I will try Thailand. It's like more. I heard a lot of people in Tokyo too, like yeah, like Tokyo. It's more kind of relatable to the states, you know, to the U.S. So I think I'll do Tokyo. I think I'll do Thailand. Uh, if you and Blocks were to try it again, what would you do differently this time? It felt like the same question, though, man. No, that's not. They said if we tried again, what would we do differently? I feel like what I would do differently is, like I said, accept him for who he is. Um, be more. Personal with myself, like have my own stuff going on. You get what I'm saying? Instead of being like, I gotta go out with you, or like you my only bestie, West, West, Westie. You know, have my own life. That's what I would do differently. Like have my own. Like I feel like I always have my own life, but not too much. Like not too much of mommy in this house by thingy. You know, like mm. I could be a wife in a city girl. I'm outside. I'm outside. So you just needed the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I learned. What would you do differently? Well, what, what I would do differently, um, what I would do differently, me, Donnie. I think I was a good person. I don't give no fuck with nobody to say. You can say what you want. You can hear what you hear. Nah, but I changed, um, I, um, shit. It, it, I, okay, I got something. I change the way she got to handle things. Like, I can, I can handle most of it now. Cause like, before we did get separated, she used to always, um, handle a lot, handle a lot of stuff. Well, well, I can just, you know what I'm saying, do what I want to do or whatever I want to, you know what I'm saying? Now you can just do. take a step forward. Now I can do what I can do because I learned how to be more responsible and thinking about what what needs to be handled. Okay. Oh, ringing you now, ain't it? When he said we together, though. Okay. Um, why does Block still not take accountability for his actions? So, so how you gonna who say that after I just said? Who clocked in his teeth? How you gonna say that right after I just that was did the first that motivational thing. speech? <laughs> now you trying to be like that's crazy. That was the first. That was the first time you took accountability. That's fucked up. So why Block don't never take accountability for his actions? I answer for him. I just feel like he's wait. A I do take accountability. Don't fucking play with me. Y'all see me under the comments. I, I don't fight for shit under the comments. Why you talk to Trina? When I say, when I say, did it on camera, I met it, and I'm taking accountability for whatever I did. Always. It's really about her taking accountability. It's not the blame game. But all I'm saying, like, I, I take accountability. I know what the fuck. And ain't nothing to account for. And I, oh. To be honest. It ain't nothing to account for. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> the hell she talking this about? Ain't nothing no to sense. account for. As y'all can see, the reunition, the, the reunited is not coming back because. How you know? If I, if I say, come on, you gone. Who is you? You won't get no motion like that. What's up? You want to live back together? No. Hmm? No. I don't need that. Good. Besides all the BS you went through, what are the things you miss about Blocks and Blocks? What do you miss about Xavier? Who you want to go first? Right, and she right. said besides the BS. Um, I just miss having a um lovely, beautiful girl at home with me, and you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Next time I come home, I love it. That feeling is unbeatable. Then going home alone mm -hmm. with a heart, heart. Uh, what I miss about I can't even hunt nothing. I hunt my pillow. Oh hell no! Oh, I'm scratched, y'all. I'm scratched. I need to get back. Anyway, I'm 
anyway, <laughs> what I miss about him is, um, I miss him making me laugh every day and every night. I miss, remember how we used to be in the bed and we used to have some nights we had, just be talking all night? I miss like talking and being in the bed and cuddling and just having you in the house, period. Oh, uh, that means you miss it. I ain't say I miss you. That's, that's what, that what you should. They said what Come I down below what that sounded like. They said what I miss about you. Well, you miss me. No, I miss you now. So <laughs> you just said everything that you want right now. No, I just said I miss, <laughs> I miss you making me laugh. Oh, and I miss your cooking, y'all. He can cook. Have you been cooking a lot lately like how you was at the house? No. Nah. At the house, he used to make... Mother uh, chicken, stuffed chicken, spaghetti, fish. She remember all that. Yeah, I can't wait to well, start back cooking because I'm not cooking. If we decide to come back, I'm not cooking. Why the hell is backwards now? We can go back in the day when the girl you know how to cook. Uh uh, you can, the man can cook. I'm tired of cooking. I, I feel like the bitch now. You, you cook. You only cooked that one year because I was pregnant and had complications. We was all year. Complications. I, I still have a game of shit. Anyway, yeah, that's what I miss about having him in the house. Because um, I need this trash. I just can't keep doing this. I feel you on that. <laughs> what is Pop Pop birthday theme? Safari. Yeah. So he, I mean, he, he ain't going to have too many people there, but. Then it's just going to be us. This year, y'all, I'm not doing no big thing. I'm not buying people out and none of that. I'm, his birthday is actually on a Wednesday. We celebrate on a Wednesday. It's going to be intimate. His father, sister, mother. And him, period. I'm not doing the extra this year. He gonna have, he gonna be fresh. He gonna have lunch. He gonna go play. Happy birthday. Hey. That birthday week. No, it's not. We gonna take him home. See, I, she ain't know about this. So when I get back after my show, I'm a boom. I'm a ooh. We in the car. We going to Orlando. Yeah, Orlando. Yeah, we ain't driving that though. We gonna drive there to the airport. We gonna get that boom, huh? Um, so we gonna get there. And we gonna go to a resort. They say kids only. <laughs> kids only. We what gonna drop them off, and we gonna go and have fun at the Disney World. And you know they gonna be cool. Yeah? You ain't, we ain't gonna take the kids to Disney World. No, nah, man, we going. I need to go with you. I need to see how they want. <laughs> Who is the funniest between you two? Who are you two like me, me or who? Me and you. Y'all know who funny. Comment down below who, who y'all think funny. Xavier or Big Homie Block. Say your best knock knock joke. Not know who there. Who? You ain't even let me. Exactly. Not 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 me. Me who? I don't know who we talking about. Not my turn, cause you, he ain't funny. I don't know. Let's not see. Not. Who's there? Everybody. Everybody who? Everybody. In the in the in the. In the. <laughs> Comment down below who you should be funny, cause what the hell was that? Will y'all ever? This is the last question, for sure. Um, uh, will y'all ever date outside y'all marriage? With going through a divorce, we ain't gonna have no choice. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna see what the fuck. We ain't gonna have no choice to date if we. I mean, it's okay to see divorce. It's it's okay to try out stuff and see how it's gonna be, and if it ain't like that, you know what the fuck going on. Okay, so why you ain't had no new boo yet? Who said I did? Oh, let me make my business. I don't talk about nothing. You see how you want to broadcast? What I broadcast? What I broadcast? Bro, comment down below. Y'all know she talk about it all the other things. Facebook, Instagram, you do Yeah, you know me. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. Okay. But that you, you mean, on here saying you that don't on mean because You on YouTube saying you on a date. This is my life and I vlog. That's what vlogging is. Then what the hell you talking life. about? I just asked you, did you have a new boo? You worry about what I'm doing. No, nah, you asked me. I asked you. Oh. You got a little bit of See, that's why we ain't together now. But comment down below if you think we're going to get back together, because I don't know. Comment down below if he was a whole asshole on this um, Q&A, and I didn't appreciate that at all. You didn't? No. I thought about the vibes. You didn't bring the vibes. You brought negative vibes. No, I didn't. They really 
wanted to know these. I told them don't. They really put thoughts into these questions. You just. I like these questions. I did too, and you ain't answered none of them. Yes, I did. Come down below, then I asked some of them. I didn't say all of them. Some. Anyway, uh, thank y'all for watching. I'm sorry that the special guest was an asshole. Um, I, I was an asshole? Yes, you were. You making sorry, jokes. Sorry, I ain't trying to do that. That's fine. I'm a bigger person than that. You I are. changed my life. You did. Um, yeah. Sorry, guys, if I was being an asshole. It's okay. We accept don't. your apology. I know my supporters going to get on you because they don't like that. Oh, they like not they love me. Hello. But thank y'all all for always supporting us. Um, I love y'all. Make sure y'all like that video. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn that post notification bell on so you know when Xavier is on your screen, y'all. And that's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. Okay, do you have any last words? <laughs> See y'all, y'all might enjoy y'all follow me at Big Homie Blocks. Yes, sir. Uh, and if y'all feel like I was slurring, I did go back to the dentist today. I know my uh, vlog, my my supporters know I'm working getting my mouth worked on. So, I definitely went to the dentist today. So, if my words are a little slur, I apologize. And R.I.P. Rich Homie Quan. Oh, yeah, for sure. R.I.P. Quan. Damn. But we gonna head out. And we out, child. Hello.